Last week, we installed the soil cement floor in the lower circle and continued working on the stair rail for Shay's earth bag bedroom. We decided to paint the exterior next. With a heart in mind, we picked some paint samples. So mom brought back some uh, maroonish colors to decide what we want on the walls. I kind of like this one, this, this purplish one, and I like this dark red one here. So whichever one you think will look best, mama, because it's your, your backyard. Theo's gonna come with me, because he, hey, hey, I thought you were coming with me. Okay. Brie Garen, Bryson, and Shay are gonna take a trip to Florida. They're busy getting ready. While they're doing that, I'm gonna get started and head over to the hoop barn. And save on some money. We really need to clean up our hoop barn. It's just an absolute mess in here. I'm not gonna show you because, you know, we, you, we don't show things like that. And we've got all of these paints. Can you see them behind me? I would rather use what I have than run down and spend a hundred bucks on a five gallon bucket of paint. Shay likes these colors. And so I'm gonna, um, if at all possible, I went online and I found out, okay, this might be just like a huge mistake. Let's just have some fun that you can make a maroon color, it's a combination of violet and red, which is really just a lot of red, and then maybe 25% blue. I'm going to see what I have. I doubt I have any red paint, but I'm gonna take a look and see if I can make a paint that's either close to these or something that we at least can live with. The good news is our paint is increasing in size. We're getting closer to the five gallon mark. It's definitely a lighter version of what I wanted, but it's kind of a plum. I don't know, I'll have to see what Shay thinks of that color. All right, Shay. So here's a color I came up with. It's not really these. You can see these are much darker. Mm -hmm. But do you like that color? That's nice. That's not bad. So should we go with it, Shay? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. I think it's Gisbert approved. You think Gisbert approved? So Shay's gonna have a pink room? She no. Doesn't. But look, it's not pink. It's purple. Let's let it dry. That's purple. But what if we did all of look our Look at this. This is dry. Yeah, see, it's purple. It's not pink. When we first started putting it up on the wall, I was scared because it was—it looked like it was coming out pink, and I knew that that was the one color that Shay did not want. I'm sorry. Do you think it's too pink? No? I really, really don't want pink. If we have blue, we can add. Is that good? Smooth as butter. Yeah, it's a real nice kind of purpley color if you want. It's, I mean, it's light purple, but it's still purplish. I like it's kind of pastel y. It's like it's my tongue color. Hmm. Well, Shay? Yes, Bryson. What do you think? I, I haven't decided yet. I don't want it to be pink. Well, there'll be no doubt that a chick lives here, that's for certain. Oh, don't look. Don't look at it. Sir. Okay, I just need his to chin pink. And earlier, I'm pretty sure I saw him eating something that he shouldn't have been eating. Really cool. Oh, I love it. Do, do you love it? Yeah. Bullet, why don't you tell us what you've done? I think you have a confession to make. Bullet, you can't drop your ball here. Look at that. No, no. <laughs> what am I gonna do with that? I'll tell Bryson, it's his dog, right? Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Bryson, your dog kind of did something. You need to come clean it up. Did that. <laughs> Bryson, how do you feel on the matter? <laughs> oh, there's a, it's a Rudolph elf. Scooby Doo. You seen anything, Garrett? Uh, not yet. Some Grinches. Create your own, you know. Yeah. We have this little elf here. He's just cute and we're gonna cut him out and get him put on there with some lights Just like in the beard on his feet or something. So we'll throw some lights on. He'll be fun Maybe a stand for the front yard? Yeah. Going all fancy this year. He's looking very healthy. I like it. It's 
It's a little purple. No, it's a, it's a good purple though. It's a, it's good. I, it doesn't look pink at all. It's perfect for Shay's room. Oh, I guess she got those car horses. Let me get it out. Okay, Shay, are you gonna trust me to paint this when you're gone? Yes, yes I am. Pretty much all you will have to do is the petals. You still want me to do that with the pot bottles? Mm-hmm. I'm making happy little trees. And we're gonna put one Oh, that's, oh, that's daring, remember? Bob Ross. I'm a flinger, I'm a flinger, I'm a flinger. But it's okay. Okay. Oh, it kind of matches this tree. That's hilarious. I think I'm done. They use that. My cold hands are done. I'm loving it. All right, Shay. All right, all right. Yep. The kids left for Florida. Hey! <laughs> so good luck, mom and dad, with this week's weekly peek, and uh, we'll see you next week. Hey. Shay has left the instructions with taking a two liter hot bottle. The shape of the bottom of this bottle does make a pretty good flower. I'm gonna be dipping it into paint, placing it on this tree. We don't have a flat enough wall. Okay, we're gonna have to go to plan B. This bottle thing clearly doesn't work. Makes sense, it's not a flat wall. I'll just wait till Shay gets back because she'll have some great ideas. I'm looking forward to seeing what she comes up with. Well, Gary, any luck? That's why we have Bryson do this. Are you gonna be able to figure it out? I hope to uh, get it figured out. These things go on here somewhere. What is it? Is it an elf? A Christmas elf? Okay. So are we gonna skip the drone shot, Scare? I'm, I really don't want to. I want to get this going. So. Okay, I believe in you. All right. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Calibrate this. So we do the dance. You did it. There you go. Yeah, huh? Yeah. We looked at a lot of your suggestions you gave for our skylight here, and we sure appreciate those. Kind of our research and everything, we bumped into this garage sale where Shelly found this piece of glass for a buck. Yeah, this is one of those that you put on your tabletops. The person we bought this from said that it was tempered. And some of the problems I, of all windows, how am I gonna get this into a situation where it doesn't leak? If I tilt the window slightly, the water runs to one area, so that might be a good solution. This is oversized, so we're gonna have to build a frame for it to set in. Not quite sure how yet to attach it, but stay tuned and we'll be installing this soon. Thanks for being here. Stay tuned for next Friday as we continue building on Chase Earthbag Bedroom. We won't be having our regular Wednesday podcast because we'll be arriving late that day home from Florida, but we will have our regular weekly peek. Have a great week and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. supporting us on Patreon. We don't want an aquarium up here. <laughs>
I'm teasing him. We didn't want to blame it on him. I didn't want to say that out loud. Oh, see, but I did because <laughs> it's more fun that way and he's my brother and I get to tease him. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Did you think that maybe what we would do, since it's a heart, mm -hmm. is like put veins on it and stuff? Yeah, and um, yeah. during Halloween, I want to get some giant blow up surgical gloves and blow them up and have them just like crawling over the building. Oh yeah, 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 I was gonna get some lights and uh, a sound system. So when they walk in, it goes doom, doom. And the light wow. like flash on the walls. <laughs> Those can be a cute part to a to a creepy to a part. Halloween heart. Well, Bree. Halloween thump thump. Put your heart into it. <laughs>